Hello, once again, welcome to another video of DOCA 2019 Paper S. This time we are doing part D, which is known as the extended reasoning. All right. And as usual, we are going to employ our OSIS method in tackling this problem as well. All right. Let's have a look at the question. It says question 19, study the number pattern, find the next number. So here's the pattern. We have 2, 6, 15, 28, 55. All right. So the first part that we are going to do is that we're going to observe and analyze. All right. So the observe and analyze is that um, the either we can have a look at the increasing in the pattern. All right. Or perhaps maybe there is some kind of uh, multiplication that we can think of. There's a lot of observation and analysis that you can make. Uh, one such observation and analysis that we're going to make here is OA, is that we're going to look at 2 as 1 times 2, and uh, 6 is 2 times 3, and 15 is 3 times 5, and the next one is 28, which is 4 times 7. And the next one is 55, is 5 times 11. All right. So once we have written them as a multiplication, it's quite clear that the sequence here pulls the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the sequence. Or rather, if I were to make another observation, if I say, if I want to find the nth term of the sequence, I can say that it's n times pn in this particular system, where p here represents. So what is pn? So pn here is the sequence or the list of prime numbers. So we can see that P1 is 2, P2 is 3, P3 is 5, P4 is 7, P5 is 11. Now we want to find the next number. So now we can try to use our SI. We're going to solve it. So we are looking for T6, which means it has to be 6 times P6, which is the next prime number is 13. So T6 is 6 times 13. The answer is 78. All right. So this is the answer that we have is 78. All right, so our systematic checking on this uh, particular question is that we just have to make uh, another list here. All right, so if I already make this list, you can see that they are all prime numbers, and the next prime number is 6 times 13. Okay, so I'm going to check the systematic checking on this part. We're just going to use going to just double check all right the sequences that we have so we have 2 equals to 1 times 2 so if i follow the pattern 6 is equals to 2 times 3 15 equals to 3 times 5 28 equals to 4 times 7, 55 equals to 5 times 11, and our last one, which we do not know what is this. Is it correct? We just write down 78. Maybe I made a mistake number. So this time we are checking whether the sequence makes sense or not. So 78 is 6 times 30. Yes, it follows the sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Yes, it does. 
So the checking part is to just to make sure that uh, you no, know, maybe there's no calculation error. Maybe I did mistake. Maybe I put it at seven instead. Maybe instead of thirteen, I chose seventeen instead. So we just redo the sequence again, but with in the order of previous one that we did was we did up to fifty five. We deduce what the pattern should be, and then we got seventy. So the checking system here is we are working backwards that we are doing answer with 78 as part of the sequence. If it is, if I didn't make any mistake, I should get six by 13 again. So if I'm multiplied wrongly or anything, that's where the systematic checking. Just a quick check, just a double check on it. All right, okay, all right. So that will be all for the question 19 here. All right, thank you. And I will see you again in the next video. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.